Aloha, Richard Halverson. Uh, this is ICS 211. And in this video, I'm going to show you, uh, get you started on lab 14.11, which is uh, the palindrome and it's the deck, the deck lab exercise. So let me uh, share my screen. And so we're going to uh, do this one here. It's a deck. And what with this, uh, exercise we are going to read in a string and we're gonna we're gonna say whether or not it's a palindrome and as you know a palindrome can it's it's a it's a, a palindrome of characters is a is a string of characters where uh they're read the same the sequence of character uh, of letters is the same whether you're reading forward, uh, left to right or right to left. So in this case, we see, you know, S E I S E N I L E, and over here is S E N I L E. Yeah. So if you read it this way, or you read it this way, and of course you ignore. In this case, we're going to ignore non-letters. Uh, then this is a this is a palindrome. This is not a palindrome. We've got. R is the same as R, O is the same as O, T is the same as T, O is not the same as S. So it ends up not being a pound. All right, so we're supposed to ignore punctuation and spacing, and we're supposed to assume all characters are, alpha, are alphabetic characters and lowercase. And there's a special case here where they say one character string is a palindrome. Uh, that, that makes sense. Uh, and the hint is to the deck must be a deck of characters, not ordinary characters. Uh, but ordinary characters will be automatically converted to characters when added to the deck. Okay, all right, fine. All right, so uh, we're going to do it right here. And I'm just going to start typing my code here. And I'm going to uh, type code, and I'm going to add. I'm going to add the um, declaration of variables as I make them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have to declare a deck. So I'm going to say deck of characters, got to be a class, a deck of characters, uh, and I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it char deck, car deck, char deck is equal to a new, it's a linked list of characters. Okay, that creates a new deck called car deck of characters. And then I got to read in, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll read the line, L-I-N-E, I'll call it line, equals scanner of next line. And uh, then I'm going to, uh, now I'm going to take, take my line one character at a time and uh, stick it into the deck. So to do that, I'm gonna do uh, four j uh, int, I'm gonna do int j uh, equals zero to while j is less than the length of the line. Well, that's the case uh, and increment j by one each time. And I'm going to put this in the deck. So I go, um, <clears throat> um, first I'm going to grab it out because I want to make sure that it's a letter and not a space or an exclamation point or anything. So I'm going to grab it out. I'm going to call it uh, in care uh, character CH. I better declare this one. Character C-H-A-R, C-H, yeah, okay. Uh, C-H equals uh, line, and I'm gonna use, I gotta, I gotta refer, I gotta show you this. Uh, I'm gonna pop this, let's go down to characters, number two, I mean, Characters. Let me pop this out into a new window. And I'm talking about uh, 
So I'm going to be using this. So this is a string. This is a string, a character, well, a word that comes in. And this character at is the character at that index. So this is a string method. You see it anymore here. Uh, anyway, this is a string method which returns the character at this index. So I'm going to use that. Just wanted to just wanted to reference it to for you so you know what we're doing. I'm going to use the character at, and I'm I'm doing j. J is incrementing from one up to the end. So I grab that out, and I got to test to see if it's a letter. Now to test to see if it's a letter, I'm testing a character if it's a letter. So let's look at the character class, Java character class. And let's go here. And I'm going to be using, uh, let's go all the way down to, to the methods. Uh, here are the methods. And these are all the methods. Oops, I didn't want that one. I'm actually going to do, uh, these are methods of characters, and I want to be, be able to test if something is a letter. Test if a character is a letter. So it's one of these is ones. Is digit. Depends what the definition of is is. Nobody remembers, nobody remembers that. Is letter. This is the one I want to use. Determines if the specified character is a letter. So I'm going to use is letter. Uh, if I guess I can just use the class, the static method. I guess I can do that. I'll just use the static method character dot um, is letter. I guess I can do it this way, ch. If this is a letter. Am I, I just did, 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 okay, I guess this must be built in. If that's a letter, then, um, then I can do, then I can go ahead and add it to my card deck. Card deck, add, and I'm gonna add it to the tail end, add, add at the end, um, ch. So I'm grab it out if it's a letter. That's the best way to do it. I think this will work. Uh, so if that's if that's true, add it to the list, and then uh, when I'm done, I guess I'm done. Done with the for loop. So now I have this deck called car deck. It's got all the letters in there, and now I'm gonna loop to see. Uh, and, okay, so the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to loop. I'm, I'm going to look at the the last, the first character, and compare it with the last character. And if they're equal, then I'm going to then, then I'm going to increment and go to the second of the last, go to the second character, comparing it comparing it with the second of the last character. If they're equal, then I'm going to go look at the next ones, and I'm going to keep on doing that until I either get to the end until they both the the beginning and the, my beginning pointer and my end pointer meet, or until I test and test and test and I find two that are not equal, in which case I already know that it's not a palindrome. So uh, let's see. So am I going to use a pointer? I'm not going to use a pointer. I'm just going to use remove, uh, remove last and remove first. So I'm going to start off by initializing this this result um, is palindrome. I'm going to do uh, boolean is palindrome, uh, and I'm going to initialize it to true. And so it's going to keep on testing. Um, 
it, it's it's going to remove the first one and the last one, see if they're equal, remove the first one and the last one, see if they're equal. Keep on doing that. While they continue to be equal, I'm going to continue to remove the first and the last. If it turns out that they're not at any time, then that is when I, um, uh, and then I have to, uh, then I know it's not a palindrome. So uh, while, all right, so, so this is going to be of some size and I'm going to keep by and I'm just going to pull off the first one and the last one, keep on doing that until the size goes to zero. Okay. So I'm not going to use pointers. I'm actually going to remove the characters as I go in. So, so I'm going to say um, while the, the size, the car, car deck size is greater than one. See uh, if it's one, then I know if, if it's one, then then I, then I just have that middle character. That must mean that there was an odd number of, of letters and and I'm sitting at the middle character. And if it's just one in there and I and I've um, and I haven't determined yet that the that the string is not a palindrome, if that's the case, then I then we're done. So really I have to check if the size is while the size is greater than one. While it's doing that, then I'm going to yank off the first one. Uh, these are characters. So character. This doesn't look. Um, okay, so I'm going to go. Uh, First character, I'm gonna do I declare anything? Okay, characters. All right, I'm gonna see if this works. Um, I'm gonna do something different than the C H A R C H two. And I'm gonna say C H C H equals car deck dot remove first and ch2 equals car deck remove last and then if ch see these are characters so i should be able to compare them like this if that's true no if it's not true then i then i, I already then if it's not true then this is going to be false so i'm going to do if this is not true then um set is palindrome palindrome equals false and i want to say while that's true and palin is palindrome is still equal to true so while this is less greater than one and while this is still true then remove the first one, remove the last one, check to see if they're equal. If they are equal, then keep on doing what you're doing. Okay, so this will eventually become, this will eventually become less than zero because each time through the loop, we're yanking off two, two letters. Okay, all right. All right, so this might work. Uh, and when, when we're all the way, when we're done, uh, it's gonna end either, uh, if, it, if it never, if every time it checks, this never, this is never true. In other words, in other words, the characters are always true. Uh, this, in, in other words, this fails. Then palindrome will, will go all the way through the for loop, always equaling true, and this will never be executed. So, but when we're done, if is palindrome 
if if this is true, then uh, I'm just gonna do uh, system out system. out print line um line is a palindrome um is this right yeah else it's not a palindrome. Is it? Uh, I, not, now I don't know if this is gonna work because we're pulling off, well, I'm gonna see if this works. Uh, and if it does, I'm just gonna quit. So I'm gonna first try with this one. So I have too I have too many I have too many um of these things, too many right parentheses. Uh, right here, you know, too many right parentheses. Yeah, all right. Let's see what this does. All right, cannot find symbol. Oh, I think this should be character, not characters. And this is what's the matter with this one? Is already defined in a method? Oh, do I initialize? Oh, it's, <laughs> it's already there. Okay, so that means I don't need it here. And this is, should be character, I believe. Character. Now, let's run it. Well, uh, that's pretty darn close. Let's do another one. All right, uh, so you're gonna have to uh, make it look like this. You're gonna have to make it look like this, uh, but that should be just a matter of formatting. So that should do it for 1411, and that should do it for chapter 14. So the next video, we're gonna we're gonna dive right into chapter 17, searching and analysis of algorithms. Thanks for watching.